similar set of circumstances cut into a one possession game. So a lot of basketball to be played. I think this is the most effective Reggie Perry has been in a game he has yet to eclipse. John Petty is on the bench. He is done for the night. They'll take a closer look. A right arm injury is what we're told. And when they'll get uh, back to... Missed it. Coach R has it. So they change that foul now to Silva, so that'll be his first. Edwards and those Bulldogs trying to pick up a win. And South Carolina, a team that's certainly on the move, taking on uh, Tennessee today. South Carolina. Woodard. Hey! Guy who's 6'7", 235 pounds, who looks like he's probably got about 4 or 5% body fat. You better go home. But this is going to be a tough one for Kermit Davis. Has so many ties here. Grew up here in Starkville. His father, of course, coached here. He played here. Rivalry game. It's a good patient offense here. Ten seconds on the clock. Got him now. Start to attack. Another area where Mississippi State, Woodard working too hard on the bounce. Mississippi State is just down. Hand, which for him is the left. He's able to play right over the top of the boot. It's a great shot blocker for Mississippi State. Turned over. Out him to get momentum, elevate, emphatic finish. Boston's gamble doesn't hurt him. Shot like a 10. Turned over again. Good drive. I mean, as Pickett goes in there, you get the feel that all the 50-50 balls seem to be going Missouri's way. Even though it's just a one-point lead, the pace and style of play seems to be favoring Missouri with tough guy plays like this. Three rebounds and three assists in 27 minutes. Crimson Tide fans enjoy watching this young man. He has a bright future at the next level. Had a triple-double earlier this year. Ten points, ten boards, 13 assists against Auburn. Who's defending their day, Neil? Miss right here on the network, and you can always see it streaming live on the ESPN application. Speaking of the bubble, how big of a game is that for Alabama? Yeah, they, they, they can't afford any more. Seven. But they have a huge opportunity. They're trying to play themselves into the NCAA tournament. They have to beat Duke, Louisville, uh, or Florida State in that conference. And then for the SEC to have Saturday, the deep primetime game day that was there at Auburn today, that scene was wild just for game day. I can't wait to watch that game between them and the Cats. Two point lead for the Vols here. Another stagnant possession here. Late shot clock. And bad dribble that time off the foot. Tennessee. Hands and feet ready, knock it down. Perry, the only guy in double fig figures for Mississippi State. Turnover by Tennessee. Here comes Fulkerson. He's tremendous defensively. Coach has a block by a dude. Mississippi State right here, 4 on 3. Good decision. Open look. Can Robert Woodard knock it down? He had some open looks. DJ Stewart had one, two possession. Carolina. Good to know. Uh, but tremendous player in his time here. Coach Sar with a career high 19 field goal attempts here on his senior night. That's the way it's supposed to work, right? Into the corner. Perry squeezes another board. He's got his 16th double. I think it was literally. No, they're on the court. There were no walls. Oh, there's walls in here. Look around. Dream a little. Bandy and Bandler coming up next. That'll be the second set of the Chuckle Hut tonight. Kuznar with the board. What a fantastic all-around game. He finishes with eight points. As a shooter his first couple of years, and now slowly but surely getting into the type of game and reaching his full potential. Patty 11th in the conference in scoring. A little over 15 a game. Wooder lines it up. Shackle for the rebound. You do not ability to shoot the three-point shot. He's able to get into the paint as much as anybody because when he does a shot fake, teams are buying it. Woodard, corner three, left it short. Kyra Lewis with the... The Sills, they're off to the races. Sills lost it. 
Up ahead to Carter. Woodard for three, no good. For sure, he rolled the dice with Grand Tyree with only two fouls in his first half, and Tyree has been smart. The senior has been such a cerebral player in this first half. That's off the further end. Schuller 